I'm just going to kind of let things go. Make it my last hurrah, if you will. A local Vietnam veteran's cross-country trip impacts him in ways that surprised even him. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt, and struggling for years after his service to our country, he reluctantly went on an honor flight. As ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas tells us, it not only changed his life, it saved it. And now he is on a mission to encourage other veterans to join a flight. But it's, it's, it's nice to see the guys here. You know, Reflecting I, uh, on a three-year career in the Army is Tim Woodrow. Right. I see this one shoot going, <sighs> and, and it's Marcel, and he goes, Tim! <laughs> he was gung-ho about joining the service after graduating from Hoover High. I uh, enlisted, I went to jump school, I wanted to be a paratrooper, I wanted to... Uh, you know, win the Congressional Medal of Honor. I wanted to be praised and glorified. And uh, that went away real soon after I got to Vietnam. He volunteered to go to Vietnam while serving in the Army Special Forces. He spent eight months fighting with the 101st Battalion in Vietnam. While there, he was wounded three times. A lot of people think that Getting wounded makes you a hero. It doesn't make you a hero. He found himself battling PTSD and struggling to find sincerity in the words, thank you for your service. They don't know anything about me. They don't know whether I was a coward, whether I was um, a person that would have, you know, had abandoned uh, my fellow man out in combat. Then came the opportunity to board an honor flight. I was thinking, you know, after this flight, if it proves to be just as worse as everything else that's going on in my life, I'm just going to kind of let things go. Make it my last hurrah. Instead, he found the sincerity he was looking for all along and changed his mind, knowing he had a bigger purpose. It was just a, um, a life-changing experience. And it's a combination of finding people who care, finding people who reach out to you and take you as you are. They, they don't ask you to change or be anything other than who you are. Now he doesn't mind people thanking him for his service. Now when they do, I, I, I take it um, as, as a real, uh, you know, compliment. Sierra and Sinas, uh, ABC we're, we're 10 News. Mm -hmm. That's all. And if you or someone you know is struggling, the San Diego Crisis Hotline is available 24 seven. The number is on your screen, 888-724-7240. You can also call 988 for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline.